Uh, I am Savannah Wilkinson. I am a senior in user experience design. Um, I, I have also been a member of Flux, our club for future leaders of user experience since my freshman year. That's so cool. <laughs> when, when I came to SCAD, I wanted to grow up and be Savannah. Stop. <laughs> uh, my name is Quint, and I am also a UX design major, and uh, I'm also an officer of the club. I handle workshops, so uh, teaching kids software and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. So UX stands for user experience, and so it is a specific discipline within design that is all focused on digital and physical touch points and how users respond to them. So a lot of times you'll see UX in the context of websites or apps or any kind of digital component where a user is using it and therefore having an experience with it, and our job as user experience designers is to make sure that that experience and that interaction is as seamless and intuitive and easy as possible for those consumers. It's a really cool intersection of design and technology and I think that's what I love most about it is that you're really designing these products that people use. I feel sometimes like uh, in other disciplines I've been a part of graphic design for example there's still ways to make that useful like posters or you know, events or stuff like that but I find that when I make tools that someone can use when I make a product that someone uses to accomplish a task that's where I get the most gratification because they're, they're, they're doing something with it you know like it's useful and I feel useful and people do that so um, that's kind of the, the thing that separates it from other visual designs is that this is something that's intended to be used for a purpose and complete a task. I will say something that also separates it too is user experience design is all about the user mm -hmm. and so we are grounded not only in user research but consistent user testing and user evaluations and other disciplines I guess we're just picking on graphic design you can't just say like oh this is pretty therefore it works or oh yeah. it works because of the rules of gestalt and that's great for designers who know that but you know designers are not just going to be the only people looking at these posters and that kind of thing and especially with what we do as user experience designers no designers are really going to be using what we use because they're probably designing their own things yeah, um, so we have to base every decision that we make in user research with then becomes insights and then even when we are making our interfaces and our products we consistently test them with users over so we are and over. over and over it's a whole iterative process testing with users and so it always comes back to what is best for the user and what the user uses most effectively even if we think something is really cool if it doesn't test well it does not go forward and that doesn't necessarily mean always give the user what they ask for. A lot of times the user will ask for one thing, but we'll dig a little bit deeper and we'll see, you know what, they're asking for this because of this issue over here. This is something we could fix and kind of like nip that at the bud. And so um, that's, that's a really important part is like researching and really honing down on what that problem is and what problem we're trying to solve and then trying to figure out all the different ways you could solve it, which is the more fun part, I think. UX is first and foremost a process. We are taught a process here. We learn about the research stage, we learn about you know synthesizing that research and conceptualizing off of that. We then learn how to make prototypes and how to test those prototypes and then we learn how to build out and make final deliverables but most importantly presenting all of that work because with UX designers we tend to go to startups or big tech companies where we are part of a design team and so not only is you know learning the process and doing the work so important but you have to know how to effectively communicate those ideas. It's tough to give a definition for UX because it's so nebulous right now because it is a very new field and a lot of people like um, they enjoy having the title of UX without necessarily exhibiting qualities of someone who works on UX and so because it's such a new field and people are kind of co-opting it for all these different things, if you look online, there's lots of different definitions. I mean, you can ask three people and get four different definitions of what UX is. It's, it's a really um, kind of nascent field. But on top of that, we're taught a very specific process here. And you know, like any process, you can go in and out of it. Like there, there's tools that you can use uh, that are different than others, but um, it, it's definitely like a more formal thing, which is really cool. We get people from all over. Uh, I have a graphic design background. I actually got a, um, I, I went to school originally for a, an AFA in graphic design. And I just know I like making pretty things. I love making things pretty. And, and for me specifically, it's that intersection of digital technology and uh, aesthetics that really drive me to be who I am and, and drive my work and what I do. So I came from graphic design. We get people from industrial design. Photography. We get pe photography, we game design. We get people design. from art history come in. It's, like... it's crazy how many different kinds of people we get because one of the best 
best things is that when you have these groups, you talk about how collaborative it is. When we have these groups of people, the more varied we can be, the better it is. It's like, um, I've heard it put, uh, inclusion inspires innovation. Yes. And I just love- Diversity like, inspires innovation. Exactly, it's just, it's such a good way to do things. So um, that's another really cool thing about this major is that we get people from all over, especially because I don't think a lot of people come here that might be changing, but they don't come here for UX design and then they hear about it and then they're like, Ooh, that's something I, I want to do. <laughs> I will say, about probably 80% of UX majors came to SCAD for something else, mm -hmm. found UX and switched in. Only a handful of us knew it UX was mm -hmm. before even coming to SCAD. And I knew what UX was, I had no idea what UX was really until yeah, yeah. I came to SCAD and learned about it. And I, it, I was lucky enough that it just fit perfectly into like what I wanted to do with my life. So my favorite part about user experience design is how collaborative mm. it is. Every single one of our classes are a <laughs> group project. So everything that's on our portfolio was done within a group. Mm -hmm. And so that means that most of our homework is actually group meetings and creating things in between those group meetings to fit with the group and what the group is overall doing to make progress on our project throughout the quarter. So the way UX classes are structured is you're usually learning a specific UX principle in that class. So intro to UX is what's called our HC class so there you're really just learning and understanding the process and applying it to the group project that you make in that class we have other classes like human factors and prototyping electronics and information architecture they're all teaching something very specific about UX that we then use and we implement them into the group project we are doing during that class. So the classes are very much like half lectures about whatever we're learning about in UX and half studio work, putting that lectures, going from practice, going from theory into practice, going and being able to actually take everything that we just learned and implement it into that group project. Because that does mean after every single class, you're able to have a fully fledged portfolio piece to put on your site. So by the end of your SCAD career, you have between six and eight like finished user experience projects to be able to have on your portfolio and you manage to do all of those while learning UX at the same time. We mentioned a process earlier, like the UX process, and I don't want to glorify it too much because again, there's other tools you can use, but we definitely go through it um, when, we, when we do our classes. And I always think of having gone through all of them now, there's, there's a couple specific UX classes like Savannah was talking about. Um, and they're kind of like every UX class, you do a UX project, but it has a little flavor of something else. So HCI is a flavor of learning UX for the first time, or information architecture is a flavor of, you know, how do I structure information inside of my, uh, you know, uh, products that I make. And so that's one of the really cool things is because when you do get into your career and you do start doing work, it is all collaborative. There's no UX designer who works all by themselves. And so we get that practice from the very beginning working with groups. And for me, that was really tough because I was a graphic design kid and I'd never worked <laughs> with a group before and I hated everybody and I just, I didn't know why I had to communicate so much about things that I was doing. Of course I was right. Why would I need to tell you that I'm changing this thing, you know? Or, you know, how to utilize people most effectively. But I mean, they kicked it out of me like the first class or two and I, I love collaboration now. It's something, a skill that I've worked on for sure. And, and you don't get that in other majors from what I've seen. That's one of the best things about it.